In this video, I'll be explaining about admin monitoring workspace within Power BI service. Now, admin monitoring workspace is basically a special workspace. It is designed for Fabric admin to monitor and manage the workloads usage and governance for that specific tenant. Now, admin monitoring workspace is automatically installed the first time an admin accesses the uh, link. So you need not do anything. You just need to click on the admin monitoring workspace. And then once you do that, you will be able to see that workspace provision. So give it some time. Uh, it won't be available immediately because uh, Power BI needs to first provision the template and then uh, start collecting the data about the tenant. Now, admin can share the workspace and report so that other users can have access. Not only admin can consume that resource, uh, then you can uh, gets the semantic model refreshed once per day so refresh is automatic it does once per day uh, and you will be able to see all the report content now what does an admin monitoring workspace contains it basically contains insights about user activity so user performing any activity within the power bi service will be captured and then it will be displayed in the form of a nice report content sharing details how the contents are shared within your tenant capacity performance, uh, get the operations details. So any active operations happening within the tenant that will be captured. And basically it will give you the inventory of the entire tenant. So it's again a workspace. So as you see over here, this is a workspace. It has a couple of reports and a semantic model. Uh, it has a couple of reports, feature, feature usage and adoption and purview hub. Purview hub is all related to compliance. Now, this is how the reporting will look like. So I'm going to explain uh, uh, when I show you the Power BI admin reporting uh, uh, capability. Now here, uh, as you see over here, there are reports related to activities, capacity, operations. Uh, then we have, uh, again, uh, analysis on the activities, analysis on how it is being utilized between different users, uh, inventory count, how many workspace, how many items, uh, how are the inventory counts by workspace, item type, etc. Uh, and then a separate report of Purview Hub. So Purview Hub will basically talk about the compliance related things like sensitivity, sensitivity labels attached uh, to the resources uh, and then uh, how it is being structured across different domains. So these are the different sort of uh, stats which you will be able to see related to sensitivity labels, domains, endorsements, item explorer. So let's jump into the demo. So here uh, I'm in Power BI workspace, okay? So this is Power BI home screen and I have an option to navigate to different workspaces from here. Now on the top in this workspace, here you will see one's icon, okay? Uh, admin monitoring, okay? A small section. Again, admin monitoring is a type of a workspace. So if you see this, if you are a Power BI admin, the first time if you come, you will see admin monitoring over here. You just click on it. And then from that point onwards, the workspace will get provisioned. And here you will be able to see various statistics. Now, admin monitoring, it is again a workspace. It is just like a normal workspace, but then you will have limited control over it. So if you click on admin monitoring, here you will see a lot of things happening. now. In this workspace, you cannot do anything. You cannot add a record. You cannot create a dashboard, reports, data flows, nothing. You cannot do anything. Here, there are a set of reports and semantic model. Now, you have limited control over here. Okay, You cannot do any specific thing. Uh, refresh is automatically done. So for me, it is done. Uh, it's a specific interval, and it will list on the next refresh time. Uh, and other parameters like endorsement security, I cannot control anything on that. From a workspace setting perspective, if I go to general, I cannot do anything. It is all disabled. See, you cannot attach it to a domain. It cannot change the name, description, workspace contacts, etc. Uh, license info. Again, I cannot make a change. Azure connections, system storage. So you 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 don't get any control over that workspace. Okay, so what does this workspace contain? So if you go into the feature usage and adoption, if I click on feature usage and adoption, here it will load the report, which is which comes inbuilt, and Microsoft has provided us a rich uh, report with a lot of statistics, statistics in it. Now, in order to read this, uh, what I'm going to do is like first I can go to view 
full screen. So this is how the report will look like. Uh, feature usage and adoption activity overview. Now I can select the date range. So it's 4th September to 1st October. So I can pick and choose my date range. Uh, so this report is generated at 1st October. I can see there are total 242 activities happened and I have an option to limit the range. Okay, so if I just want to see a specific uh, date range, I will be able to do that. I can expand it from here. If I hover over this data point, I'll be able to see how many active users were present. So I can see one user present throughout uh, the session. Uh, then most active capacity. So here I can see that uh, I have this shared capacity, I have this reserved capacity for pro and per user workspace and how it is consumed. So count is 19, 6, 36, 76 and 111 and then I can further drill down to various operations over here. Now I have an option if I have made any changes I can reset this uh, settings okay. So if I have made some change over here uh, while watching the report and if I want to go back I'll click on reset. I have an option to go to the help as well from here. Uh, now I have this navigation so I can see this activity overview from here. I can go into various uh, other sections, but currently there is only one uh, navigation point. From uh, a most active operation perspective, I can see what are the different operations which has been happened within the uh, tenant. So get snapshot, update folder, view report create report, get scorecard, all those informations are listed over here and who's the active users. Uh, most of them are the members, the user type, and that's 238 across a specific period. Now, this is one section. Now, if you go to analysis here, you will be able to see some more information. So uh, again, specific from a date range perspective here, I'm able to see the total activities. So how the activities are spanned across. So on this particular date, there were 70 activities performed 17th of the September on 22nd, 45 activities performed and those sort of things, right? Um, I can visualize data across multiple dimensions. So I can see total activities 242. If I click on this 242, I can see what all things has been done. So if I click on create folder over here, I can see the graph has been refreshed automatically and I can even drill down to further items. So I can see which user has created that, what are the user type, which workspace name. So I'll click on workspace name and then I will be able to see uh, various workspaces uh, which has been involved in this particular activity. So if I go into, uh, again, uh, click on this, I can uh, plus icon, I can see what capacity, what consumption method, which date it was created on. So uh, I can see all this information and then you can further drill down to various other information. So this is a nice way of uh, analyzing the, uh, the visualizations. Uh, inventory, this is an important thing. Uh, I really liked it. Uh, you will be able to see in a just like how many workspaces exist within your tenant. So I have 18 workspace. I have 57 items. I have 20 active items, 37 inactive items. And what are the different inventory counts based on workspace? So which workspace has been used most? So I can see personal workspace has been used most then garage dev, then PP and USA workspace and so on and so forth. So and what are the compositions in terms of semantic model, report, dashboard and app? How are this composed uh, on basis of percentage of total items? Again, from here, uh, I have this option to view the semantic model. Uh, uh, items categorized into semantic model reports dashboard and app reports if I click over here uh, I'll be able to see the item name so I'll click on item name and then I can navigate to various different reports which has been created and then if I want to drill down further I can again check uh, which workspace does it belong to so this is how you basically navigate through this chart you have an option to see the item type you have an option to see the workspace name. You have an option to see the activity status. And depending on that, if you want to just filter on specific workspace, you can go ahead and change that. And then accordingly, it will filter out the items. So if I just select one workspace, then it will only show one active workspace. If you remove the filter, it will show you everything. So this is how you basically uh, analyze the items within your 
workspace. Now, admin monitoring, uh, if I again go back to this workspace, I have an another report, which is purview hub report. So basically this is related to compliance. So this report uh, basically will give you all the compliance related things like sensitivity labels. So I do not have any sensitivity labels attached. That's why I'm not able to see any record. But if you assign a sensitivity label, then here you will see all the statistics. It says encourage item reuse with endorsements or uh, related to endorsement related to uh, digital estate with domain. So workspace in domains, workspace not in domain. So I have 38.10, uh, uh, I'd say percent uh, workspace is in domain. Uh, then I have sensitivity labels. So here I can see that none of the items has a sensitivity labels attached to it. And that's why it is shown in red color. We'll give you the top insight on the right hand side. It'll say personal workspace is a workspace with most unlabeled items. Data set is the most common type without a sensitivity label and 57 items without a sensitivity labels. Uh, I can navigate to different domains. So I can see stocks, sales order, uh, items 11 and five. If I navigate to workspace, I'll be seeing the items labeled percent and flagged. Now, I do not have any sensitive label at, as attached to the item. So that's why it's all showing in red. Uh, I can even navigate by item types. So if I want to see the sensitive labels attached as per item types or domains or workspace or on basis of creator. So person who is not creating the sensitive label is myself and I'll be able to see those information over here. Now endorsements. So there is an option for to endorse your records. So here uh, again, I'm not using the endorsement feature, but if you are using, then you will be able to see on basis of domains, workspace, item types, and creator uh, domains. Now I've created various domains. So uh, there are items uh, which are structured within that domain. So I can see that there is a personal workspace. Girish is the creator with most items out of any domain with 31 item and 14 workspace are not in any domain. So it gives you an information that uh, how you have structured with your workspace structure, uh, whether that workspace belongs to a domain or not. And if not, then it will give you that stats. Items Explorer, you can navigate to the entire inventory list. So here is a complete list. And if you see here, domain 13, eight workspace, items 57, endorsement zero, creator three, so again, remember, this is the last updated data is Friday, 4th October. That's why you may not be able to see the live information, uh, but today is Saturday and I've made some changes within your Power BI dashboard reports, domains. So those updates happen once in 24 hours. Now, if I want to navigate to say, say one of the data set, I can select that and then accordingly it will list down uh, the summarized information. I can uh, sort by domain. So if I want to just check finance uh, domain or HR or IT, I, I'll be able to see all those information. So if I click on sales or sales order, now sales and sales order, so sales order has various uh, reports, data sets uh, listed over here. Uh, if I select stocks, uh, I see some information listed over here as well because this items are linked to that specific domains and i can even filter by sensitivity endorsement user type uh, depending on the role whether i'm a member uh, creator name uh, now a couple of users are using the system so alex and myself uh, item type whether it's an app dashboard report so depending on your filter type uh, and depending on your need you can generate this report over here so that's it folks this is how you basically use the uh, admin monitoring now in admin monitoring if i go to the workspace over here now as you see over here against any workspace you have workspace setting and workspace access but from an admin monitoring perspective you do not have an option okay so workspace setting we have seen you will not be able to uh, further the information if i click on manage access i have an option i can see that admin monitoring has an admin role tenant administrator as a member role now what i can do i can click on add people and i'll say i want to give alex alex wilbur uh, a viewer role so there is no member there's no contributor they can only be viewer so i'll click on add and then that particular user will be added into the viewer role 
So as you see over here, Alex has been added to Vivo Road. So I can add other people, but then remember there are not much options available, only Viewer. You can only add Viewer. I've added Adele as a Viewer. And then from that point onwards, Adele will be able to see the information from an admin monitoring workspace perspective. So again, that's all about admin monitoring workspace. It's a specialized workspace, which is pre provision for you you need not do anything you have limited control over it uh, it gives you a basic summary of the entire tenant's workspace the artifacts within the tenant and how it has been used within your entire power bi ecosystem thanks for watching